Hello my friends, today we start with another tutorial from Rhino. In this tutorial I'm gonna talk about, grid snap, ortho, planar, osnap, smart track, and gumball from this section. Firstly I turn on grid snap. When you turn on grid snap, your mouse cursor snap to grid point of your viewport. You can customize that and change the size of grid. Another option is ortho. When you turn on ortho you can draw a straight line from specific angle like 90. I set it to 45 degree. You can customize that to another degree from this section. Turn on Osnap. Also you can enable or disable it from here. Like AutoCAD when you draw your line and your Osnap is on your cursor snap to specific part of your line like end, middle, center of your shape, and etc. If you turn on end, your cursor snap to end of your line like that. If you turn on mid, your cursor snap to middle of your line. And if vertex is on, your cursor snap to vertex of your objects, like mesh objects. I will explain it more and work with, surfaces, in another video. If you draw points in your snap points ticked on, your cursor snap to your points. Another option is smart track. When you turn on Smart Track and Osnap, you can track your drawing line with Snap, like AutoCAD. I turn it on and off, you can see a difference between. I set these settings for smart track and I suggest you. Another is gumball. You can't see these option in AutoCAD but in Rhino gumball is very useful. It's like Gizmas in 3ds Max. For example you can move objects in viewport. You can turn on Osnap with Gumball in order to move objects with Snap. I explain and work more in other videos. Another is planar.
I draw some rectangle for you can navigate lines in another viewport. When you turn on planar and draw a line, Rhino draw your line in a flat surface projected to your viewport. Thanks for watching my video, I hope to enjoy, please like and subscribe my channel from below to see my new videos.